Hello, everybody. It's Pastor Lila here. If you have worshipped with Shepherd of the Lake in the last year, either in person or in a digital format, chances are that you have heard these words. Wherever you are on your faith journey, we will meet you there with open hearts, open minds, and an open table. When we wrote these words last summer as part of our newly stated values, that part of the statement, that opening part, felt a little more figurative, really, than it does now. It was more like, okay, wherever you are on your internal journey, whatever your beliefs are or were in the past, and wherever you're headed with that, whatever doubts and questions and wonderings you have, and whatever like out-of-the-box embodied experiences of God you've had, Please, please, you can come to worship and participate fully in the ministry offerings of Shepherd of the Lake, um, and we will embrace you and hold space for you and welcome you alongside us on the journey. We'll learn from you, and we'll serve together and grow together. But most of that happened in the same building. So we were meeting you there, but doing it here. Now... Fast forward a year and we are really, truly meeting you there, wherever your there is. We are certainly living through historic times. And for many of us individually and for all of us collectively, there is a completely different place physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually than it was when these words were written. When we wrote these words last year, we had no idea that we would be meeting people where they are literally, physically, through online worship services, digital programming, phone calls, emails and prayers, and mailings. We had no idea that each of our faith journeys would involve a global pandemic, economic instability, renewed social awakening and uprising, and political upheaval. And so I started to wonder, How have these values, which I'll read at the end of today's episode, met you where you are on your faith journey, which is to say your ordinary everyday life? Not that this is ordinary, what we're living through, but your everyday life. How have the ideas embedded in these nine value statements informed and transformed the people of Shepherd of the Lake throughout their lives and in this time? And what does the love of God embedded in these value statements look like on the ground, embodied in and through our lives? In other words, where does the rubber meet the road? Welcome to the new digital series, Meeting You There. During the month of August, I will explore these questions with real live Shepherd of the Lake members and friends right where they are through the magic of technology And while these conversations could easily last for hours, we'll try to keep them around 15 to 20 minutes so you can listen in the car or while you're walking your dog or doing dishes or folding laundry. And as you listen, my hope and prayer for you is that you will have a renewed sense that wherever you are in that moment, physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, you will sense that God is meeting you there. And we are too. I hope you'll join us. As promised, here is the values statement. Wherever you are on your faith journey, we will meet you there with open hearts, open minds, open table. Open hearts. We value relationships. God has created us for connection. We value relationships with one another, with our neighbors, with the larger church body, with partner organizations, and with creation itself. We value authenticity. Bring your honest self. No masks required. Okay, we can tell that that one was written pre-pandemic, right? Because when we get back together, when the time comes, when it's safe, you can bet that masks will actually be required. But that's not the kind of mask we were talking about. We'll get to that in episode three. Okay, we value transformation. Each person is a work in progress. When we open our hearts to God, we open our lives to transformation God is never finished with any of us and is always nudging us toward well-being and growth for the sake of the whole world. Open minds. We value intellectual curiosity, questions, and conversations. We engage faith with our whole selves, body, mind, and spirit. 
please don't check your brain at the door. We value tradition, but we are not traditionalists. As members of a faith tradition that is rooted in Reformation, we are open to new ways of experiencing and celebrating God's presence in our own lives and in the life of the congregation. We value our neighbor's faith. We honor the sacred stories of our neighbors as we learn from one another and work together to foster a more just and peaceful world. Open Table We value God's radical welcome. We affirm the inherent worth and dignity of all people, all sexual orientations, gender identities and expressions, all ages, life stages, and abilities, all social and economic circumstances, all ethnicities, races, and nationalities. Every person is a beloved child of God. Every person has a place at God's table. No exceptions. We value service as an act of love. God has created each person with a unique set of gifts and passions. At the table, God feeds us with God's very own self, so we can use our gifts in loving service to the world. We value your story. Everyone comes to the table bringing their unique story, all their history, hurts, and hopes. Your story is part of God's story. God welcomes you to the table, and we do too. Blessings to you today. 